my study vibes. Um, I think I always sort of knew in the back of my mind that like when I was younger, I loved to sing. I was like the attention seeker of the family, like dancing on tables being so annoying. But I think it was about two years ago that I actually thought, hmm, this could actually maybe be a thing. I don't know, it's really weird. I mean, I think it's the same sort of answer as the first one that like I used to write when I was really little, just, just for fun and as a kid. And I think it helped that I used to teach creative writing at my school. I was like 13 or 14. I don't know why they gave me that kind of responsibility. I was sort of winging it. But that kind of helped me. So yeah, it was about like the same thing. Like two years ago, I started doing it properly and really trying. And I think the more I do it, I think the better I'm getting. So I'm gonna carry on if that's all right. I think the biggest hurdle for me is actually just like my own way of thinking sometimes. I'm so negative like towards myself all the time. I think I'm just learning to like not compare myself and that my journey is, you know, in its own time. And it's okay that I'm not maybe in the same place as someone else because their journey is different. And I don't know how long I've been doing this for. Um, so yeah, biggest hurdle I think is my own brain. But, um, I'm overcoming it and uh, yeah, I'm just thinking a bit differently, which is good. Just still learning. I was listening to Do I was listening to um, Doja Cat on the way here. What was the song? It was called like Going to go, uh, go to Town, and it's about men going to town. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's really difficult. Uh, do you know what? I think I'm going to say recently because I'm very lucky. I've been to like a lot of live shows in my time, and they've all been amazing. But recently, I saw um. Rosalia at Primavera in Barcelona and it changed my life and she's like a goddess and I'm obsessed with her and it was amazing so I'm gonna say just just watch some videos of her live. Oh, there's so many okay I've already got two I like the worst by G Nico. Like, you're the worst you know what you've done because there's a line and she goes um because you ain't shit and you ain't special till I made you so. I was just like, wow, that line is just everything. And then also, um, When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish. That is one song I'm just like, oh, that emotion and that, like, that mood that she was able to capture in that, I'm just like, dang. Uh, uh, I always find this question so hard because I feel like when I just write from my own experience and I, just, I, I don't really think about it too much, it just comes out, it's quite difficult. But I think just British artists, like I've, I have a very British way, and a very British style. So I think obviously the greats, like I'm not comparing myself to these people in any way, but obviously just like Amy Winehouse, like Lily Allen, even I listen to Kate Nash, just very like unapologetically British strong women I love and um, I hope that that's how people see me. So yeah, that's what I would say. I do, I have three tattoos. These ones are quite rubbish, but um, um, it's my parents' birth years. Um, and then I've got one here, which says Frankly, which is like the name of my last EP. And it was um, sort of the first like little body of work that I felt was really just said who I was and I was really proud of it so I was like I'm gonna mark it and yeah I plan to get a few more but we'll, we'll see we'll see next time if I've got any more um I think definitely my headline show that was about two three weeks ago um it was sold out even though it was very intimate it was amazing and the energy was amazing and it just makes me want to carry on doing shows and yeah it just made me really happy <laughs> <laughs>